everyone. I'm your host, Jamie Serretta. On this podcast, we celebrate everything local and tis the season for so many different wonderful local events and great weather for it. So may I introduce to you the... Arizona Insider, <laughs> Ian Schwartz. Ian, hello. <laughs> Great to see you. Great to be here. Finally, uh, well, I made it on a podcast. Which one? Well, yours. Yes. But uh, you guys have been cranking them out, <laughs> and Royal and Brianna, and there's a lot of content coming out yeah. of this room. So finally, here myself. So, so you haven't been me. in this podcast room yet? No, I remember the old one. You know, some yeah. of these rooms, I try to jiggle the doors and go and sleep in them. Mm-hmm. We, um, we all I, do. I think I tried that in this room <laughs> once before. Um, but no, this is uh, newly refurbished, mm-hmm. and yes. I got uh, the sticker. Jamie gave me the yes, sticker, so yes. it is official. Yes, if you come on the podcast, you get a sticker. So I'm treating you like all the other guests, except you got the air horn. The, yes. Um, the, <laughs> and if this goes <laughs> terribly and we end it, you know, in the next 30 seconds, yeah. I'm still keeping the sticker. You can still have it. I'll sign it for you. <laughs> uh, so, Ian, we call you the Arizona Insider because it was last year. <laughs> We had the Super Bowl. We mm-hmm. had the Open. This town was on fire. And you personally were as well because you were everywhere all the time. I think of you scooting around. <laughs> just you know, Didn't you bring your scooter to the princess at the oh, Open? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was so exciting. Um, you're born and raised here. I'm mm-hmm. born and raised here. I grew up in Mesa, Dobson Ranch area. And just to see what's going on with this city is electric. Yeah. And whether you've been here a year or 15 or 30, it's still so exciting. And last year was like, you know, the epitome of right. that with the Super Bowl. And I, there was so much going on. I had to really sit down and like look at all this stuff and say, all right, there's so much going on that mm-hmm. like when you couldn't possibly be in every place at once, but people want to know, they want to know what was worth their time. Right. And so I tried to really whittle down the good stuff and I, gave that name to myself the az insider kind of as a joke you know like entertainment tonight does. yes like, oh, our insider yes <laughs> um but you know i amassed like a good list of things and which were the best parties i was like oh maybe i really am the insider yeah uh, but, so, so we're dubbing we're going with this yeah. you're claiming this for you we're claiming it we're doing it <laughs> and, and now as this podcast drops we are going into wm phoenix open week which of course as we know ends with the super bowl which is just up the road in vegas this year mm-hmm. And uh, spring training going spring on. Train. Dare I say that the Open is going to be one of the more low-key things <gasps> happening this year. Yes. I mean, there is a lot. Like, the Open, like, that's going to be huge, mm-hmm. obviously. But this whole year is going to be chocked with stuff. Not, like, Super Bowl level, mm-hmm. but there's a lot that's going on. And I think we're going to okay. get into that. All today. right. Well, as an Arizona insider, <laughs> let's get started. Well, I brought my trusty notebook. Reporters, Reporters always a reporter. With a coffee stain, it which means it is so legit. That is beyond legit. And it so, usually goes in the back pocket of your jeans right. or pants. This one's uh, not too frayed. Mm-hmm. I wish to uh, see, you know, a little more frayed, but um, mm. let's see here. Um... So Barrett Jackson, yes, I want to talk about that. It's mm-hmm. just first on my list here, and that is technically before the Open. Mm-hmm. They're doing something brand new this year. They're kind of starting their own bird's nesty kind of concert series. Ooh. They're calling it Rock the Block, mm-hmm. and Foreigner is going to play there. Oh. I think it's on the premises, okay. in like one of the halls. So that's a new, brand new addition to Barrett Jackson this year. Obviously, you go for the cars and the people watching, but now they're kind of incorporating mm. entertainment into the mix. Why not? Why not? It's already like a massive party out mm-hmm. there if you've never been. I mean, I like cars. I, I don't know. V10 versus yeah. 39 and all the years and but um they're shiny and pretty they're shiny they're pretty mm-hmm. they're cool um people dress up it's like a whole thing so that'll be new for this year with Barrett Jackson the open okay is going to be bad and amazing bigger and badder they keep adding uh-huh. like like the 16th hole obviously is the most famous one but these other ones are kind of growing mm-hmm. as well and like greenskeeper which a lot of people buy tickets to. Like, they don't want to do the whole 16th or they don't have access to the suites. The Greenskeeper, which I don't know what the prices are right now, that's, that has exploded. I was there on a Thursday last year at Greenskeeper, and it was like a club. Mm-hmm. Like, it was wild. People were dancing. Um, you know, the 16th is neat, but this was like a party. Um, 
the 16th people aren't like dancing necessarily in, That's the, true. in the suites. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of buttoned up. Sometimes the boss is there. Yeah, it's, it's a little it, more corporate. It's a corporate suite. You know, you don't get, <laughs> you don't get the AZ family suite. <laughs> the AZ family suite. You want to get booted out of that thing. No. Uh, but Greenskeeper is just a party, mm -hmm. and they've added decks on top of that. So that's going to be new. I got to talk about the concerts, of course, if you want to go to Bird's Nest. Dirk Bentley. Uh, Duran Duran, mm -hmm. uh, so kind of old 80s mm -hmm. rock. Or that's old. Friday. Uh -huh. uh, that's Friday. Kygo, yep. uh, uh, techno kind of DJ. That's going to be great. Um, so some wonderful bands. And then Posty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you, you're you that close with Posty? Uh, well, I, yeah, I even wrote Posty. Posty. Um, this is Post Malone for those who are on <laughs> nickname basis with Post right. Malone. He's going to be doing the... Um, Oh, the name is... Oh, it's the Coliseum thing. The Coliseum, oh, which something is the, in the Coliseum. before yeah, that's the on Open. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And they have a concert uh, on the grass mm -hmm. of the 16th hole. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be doing that. Last year was, I think, the first year they did that. That's going to be new uh, this year. So that's exciting. You know what also Open. happens that day? Hmm. Parada del Sol. Oh, yes. It's you, the same day. And then you're in that parade usually, right? No. No, you weren't. No. I always attend it. Oh, okay. It is so much fun. But weren't you as a kid, like, in the parade? I, um, yeah. Or, like, you, in, you were in, waving in, around um, a car or something or on a horse, I a was, miniature horse. I was, <laughs> I was at Coco Pa. Okay. Coco Pa Palm and Cheer, and I walked in the Prada del Sol parade. Prada and probably performed, too, danced yes. as well, I'd imagine. Local Scottsdale yes. girl. Yeah, but the Prada del Sol. So if people end up getting tickets to, to the post, uh, Posty. Posty. Yeah, it's a long day because oh, the, yes. the parade's Prada like 8 a.m. Brunch. Mm -hmm. Maybe a mimosa. Maybe a nap. Or six. six. Nap. <laughs> a nap or two. Mm -hmm. And then Posty, and then the open starts. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. We will, of course, uh, be out there in full force. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole crew, um, all the events going on, and uh, it's, it's just a great time. So that's the open. That is the open. I'm super excited about it. So for the 3 p.m. newscast, we're going to bring it out live oh, cool. on Wednesday, nice. which is my favorite day is the uh, Pro-Am. The Pro-Am is yeah. great, yes. It's before real the, play. the real craziness. Because people always say, you know, what's the best time to go to the mm -hmm. open it's like well what do you want yeah like do you want the debauch like that's yeah. gonna be your saturday afternoon oh. like peak debauchery yes. <laughs> peak drinking you know uh, do it responsibly obviously yes, please um peak fashion um that's all saturday mm -hmm. now sunday used to be like a sleeper day it was like a great day because mm -hmm. you got a little bit of party but then you got some of the golf mm -hmm. but i think people are like creeping to the sunday really? as well mm. Friday is now a, crazy. a whole, a whole yes. crazy. And then, as I mentioned about Greenskeeper, mm -hmm. Thursday is like the sleeper day because you can still go and there's people partying, but not as much of the crowds. So I do love the Greenskeeper space. It re it's really cool. It's really cool. You're on a lawn. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, I always say it just because I know from experience, do not wear a high heel. <laughs> <laughs> do not wear a high heel. <laughs> Don't to the it. open. I thought you'd be one year I did it. <laughs> no. Ten years ago. Never again. Never it was again. very silly. And at least. But they're out there yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, they some, are. Uh, brave souls um, who attempted and maybe did not. They're not as wise as you. Yeah, well, experience. <laughs> <laughs> Making the mistake once or twice. <laughs> A rolled ankle will tell you. <laughs> oh, Where the sneaks. God. But we know uh, uh, Captain Dave Foley and all those yes, guys. They are ready. Them. If you do roll an mm -hmm. ankle, there's some very good people <laughs> yes. uh, that are going to be taken care you of. You just don't want to do that. GMAS is going out there. I think yeah, GMAS oh, yeah, is going to be yeah. out there a lot. Um, I think we start Wednesday. Okay. I think all that's right. when I'll start coverage out there. I think I do the we I'll be doing the weather out there, four thirty uh -huh. to six, and then I break off, and then we'll start, you know, covering feature stuff. Cool. We'll be um, home base is the princess, so we talk mm -hmm. about what they're offering. Uh, they do, you know, a bunch of stuff and whatnot, and uh, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. And that's the most boring event of the year. Uh, can you believe it? <laughs> that open? Okay, Arizona Insider, what yeah. else do we have then? Do I need, I feel like I need to play that. So, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Face <laughs> ID, face ID. Okay, so if that is the most boring <laughs> thing of the year. Obviously being hold. facetious there. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what could be next? March Madness. Oh, my gosh. Now I forgot you, it's here this year. Peep, it's here this year. Last time it was here was 2017 when Phoenix was not the Phoenix that we described yeah. at the start of this uh, podcast. Yeah. It is, you know, grown and grown and grown. We had a Super Bowl here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, you know, 
uh, major acts, Bad Bunny, all these guys selling out, you know, big, big, big time arenas. It is back 2024. Now, maybe you're not a basketball fan. You're like, oh, okay, college basketball. I'm not going to the game. That doesn't matter. Last year, they threw these, um, excuse me, 2017, the last mm -hmm. time they were here, they threw these massive concerts. And uh, a lot of them were free. Um, so downtown is going to be chalked, filled mm -hmm. with stuff. They have like, um, kind of like the Super Bowl experience. Think of all the stuff that they had for the Super Bowl. You know, dial it down a little. It's mm -hmm. not the Super Bowl, but they still like have a massive presence downtown. So they'll have basketball related um, experiential mm -hmm stuff yeah and i don't know if it'll be in the convention center or what some of the stuff i would check the website today of the host committee is still tbd mm -hmm. um but past acts tim mcgraw megan mm -hmm. the stallion katie perry chain smokers the oh. boss in 2017 aerosmith did a free concert in hans park holy smokes they had to close the gates mm -hmm. in like 20 minutes because people it's like it was just filled yeah. up and they like okay uh, it was on a Sunday, so I went to bed. I'm a huge Aerosmith fan. It was the first concert I ever saw at Desert Sky Pavilion oh. in 1993 for my 13th birthday. <laughs> 13. Uh, but I had to work in the morning, and so I had to go to bed. Um, Adulting. I had adult. Uh, Macklemore, Blank182. Wow. Big names. Uh, big names. I'm not gonna. I, I'm pretty sure it's free. I like. Yeah. I haven't seen the. Th right. I want to tell you it's you free. You have to wait for it to drop. Yeah, but last year, yeah. last time it was free, okay. and so even if you don't like basketball, there's gonna be a ton going on in downtown Phoenix. Lots of buzz. Even though uh, it's gonna be at State Farm Stadium, I guess. Really? I, I think that's where they oh, did it last year. Okay. The actual basketball game uh -huh. was in Glendale, because um, I I did the weather out there. Yes. I remember thinking yes, <laughs> it's really early. This thing's indoors. Why am I doing the weather? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just like seeing it. No, no, You're kidding. the heirs and the insider. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, but they also had a lot of, let's say you are going to the game. They had tons of stuff outside mm -hmm. in Glendale. Uh, so I think you could even go visit that mm -hmm. maybe without a ticket. So if you're on the mm -hmm. west side, there'll still be activities for you as well. So that's going to be huge. That's what, mid-March, usually around St. Patty's mid -March, Day? Mid-March, yes. Mm -hmm. April 5th through the 7th Ooh. will be the music festival. So it is going to be several days. And who knows who's going to drop? Like, those big names wanted to come here in 2017. We're yeah. a bigger name in 2024, now. so maybe we're going to be fetching, like, even bigger names. Ooh, who Not would like that Arrow be? Smith who would a, be a dream? That's a great question. Hmm. I mean, I feel like Post Malone, I, we I'm, have a lot of them coming for the Open. Yeah, I know. Maybe. Who would be a bigger. Maybe. Who's the biggest star right now, you think? Well. Ty oh, that's, Swifties. That's easy. Yeah, that Taylor Swift. She sold out two Super Bowls. <laughs> Beyonce? Two in a row. Beyonce. Be Beyonce? Yeah. But they're, they're not doing a free concert. Nah. <laughs> they're going to want to make some money. Not yet. <laughs> they're going to want to make some money. Uh, right. So March Madness. Like, that's going to be a big, big deal mm -hmm. with tons to do. I love that you did research and have I, your reporter's notepad. Make, make sure to crinkle the paper for the people that <laughs> can right. hear the podcast. Oh, there, there, there it is. There's <laughs> uh, notes. Um, I uh, pulled up some of the biggest concerts coming to town in mm. 2024. So I'm just going to rattle these okay. off real quick. Uh, Tim McGraw, Big Country love. Guy, mm -hmm. June 27th. The Eagles, uh, they're actually... No, never mind. That was that was an old one. Scratch that. Tool is coming. Mm -hmm. Bruce Springsteen, the boss, March nineteenth. Luke Combs, uh, Posty. I mentioned Olivia Rodrigo, huge mm. star. Uh, she will be here at the end of February. Uh, Bad Bonnie, Bad Bonnie, baby. <laughs> uh, when he was here last, he pretty much sold out uh, Chase Field, huh? and it was a massive mm -hmm. concert. It was a great time. He's back February twenty seventh. Innings Festival. Huge. Huge. It's now two weekends. Wow. So that uh, has grown. Yeah, let's talk about Innings Festival. Oh, my gosh. Love because it, it kind of started off as all these people are in town for spring training. Mm -hmm. How can we capitalize on this and make them stay a little longer? Let's throw a music festival in the yeah. park. Yeah. It was, it was. I don't want to say it was low key, but right. it was. Casual. Casual. If you were to say, because that was 2016. 18 or 17 started maybe yeah. it was it like wasn't 2018. too long ago it wasn't too long ago but no one really would have known if you said oh, i'm going innings fest mm -hmm. back then they would not have necessarily known what you were talking about mm -hmm. now huge names <laughs> huge. back to back to back to back it's almost like 
you think of Country Thunder, it mm-hmm. has the biggest names in country come into town. Yeah. This is what the Indians Festival does for all genres of music. Yeah, I think, uh, I feel like their target demo is uh, us, kind of. Well, I won't say your age, but oh. um, <laughs> like oh. uh, late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Somewhere, so. I'm somewhere in there. You're somewhere. <laughs> yes, Everyone got to know. in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like Weezer, like yeah. a great example. I'm a huge Weezer fan. That is like people in their 20s don't know Weezer. No, I mean they do from some of the covers, but mm-hmm. like they don't maybe know the Blue Album, the yeah. Grammy, and you know, kind of the emo, depressed okay. sweater song. I mean, hello, this is like peak 90s alternative. Okay, um, and that's that range. Mm-hmm. Offspring, uh, they mm-hmm. were here last year. Uh, Foo Fighters. I mean, they're obviously yeah. a multi generational band, but you know. Millennial, exlennial, mm-hmm. you know, uh, um, those groups, like, these are the bands that they, they kind of like. So Innings Fest is huge. Um, I know the Chili Peppers are going to be there. Hozier. Oh. Hozier's going to be there. Um, I mean, there's a lot. you got to look mm-hmm. it up. I didn't write all those. Yep. <laughs> um, Madonna, March 16th. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> she was here last year in July, I think it was, and then she got sick and had to cancel. I know because I had tickets. <laughs> Do you have tickets again? No, I. I mean, I'll probably buy them again yeah. closer to the date, but um, I sold them. Uh, you know, just because I had, I was going to go to the concert. I was like, "This is perfect. It's going to yeah. be hot as hell. I'll go to an indoor concert." And then she canceled, and it kind of ruined your vibe the vision you're and the vibe that i had you were mad at her no I'm I'm mad at madonna. madonna how could you be mad at madonna ian what are you, what are you blaming madonna <laughs> for getting sick how could you do this to me she's traveling around the world doing these concerts of course she's gonna get sick you yeah know. run down i would sick. love to see madonna in concert yeah i mean i'm not like the biggest fan i know enough of her music and i feel like yeah. she's a big name like mm-hmm. some of these folks i want to see um like the Stones. Oh. I actually should buy tickets to this because I had tickets to the Stones a few years ago. And then Mitch Jagger had to go have heart surgery. <laughs> Mick. I, I Mick. said Mitch. Um, um, uh, Mick Jagger. Yeah, well, that so needed to be should, done. Be, <laughs> these I think artists you probably be. don't want me to buy tickets because they're getting sick oh once I purchase a ticket. You have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's, it's um, not you. I got a few more for you, James. Okay. Uh, Jamers, uh, Blink 182, New Kids on the Block, Alanis Morissette. Hold Green. on, New Kids. <laughs> yes, oh yeah. They're when are they back. coming? Uh, I'll have to look that up. I kind of just New Kids on the Block. <laughs> let's rock. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> uh, Green Day, Def Leppard, Journey, Chicago. Uh, they'll be with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Great band. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zach Bryan, who I like. I'm not a huge country guy, but I love him. He has that uh, Casey Musgraves, I think. Mm-hmm. I remember yes, when. Yes, yes. Great, great, great okay. song. Willie Nelson. Stop. Yes. <laughs> when I told you in the elevator, I had some Laughlin, some yes. AZ Insider info. Yeah, for- AZ Insider. <laughs> in Laughlin. For- <laughs> to which I said, in Laughlin? Laughlin edition. <laughs> uh, so for uh, April 19th, he is playing mm-hmm. in the Valley. Willie. Willie. Mm-hmm. But then on 420... Oh, stop. <laughs> He's going to be playing in Laughlin, so you, uh, you tell what's, me which what's one's happening the one then? to go <laughs> I met him once. I got oh to gosh. interview him. I How think cool. in Oklahoma City he was opening the restaurant. I had something to do. Uh, the press event ran very late, but he was one of those people when I had his attention, I was sitting like we are across the table from each other, <laughs> and he was looking me dead in the eye, and he kept going, well, Jamie, da 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 Jamie. I'm like, oh, Willie Nelson, this ain't my name. <laughs> <Say> my name. <laughs> One of those very surreal experiences. Hey, can I do, I'll do the rest of the uh, podcast that way. All right, Jamie, I got some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, keep saying my name. It triggers me. What about restaurants? Oh, mm-hmm. I, we have a lot of new restaurants oh opening. It's very hard to keep up with. And you, I mean, you spend a lot of your free time going. Yes. You, we know that you have your happy hour series, which is awesome uh, on GMAS, and you find the best deals. So you're doing that for work, but then you do a lot of exploring for play, personally. Uh, I do. I like, um, you know, during the week on the morning show, you know, we go to bed so early. Mm-hmm. I go to bed at th- Probably the number one question I get when, yeah. you, when you go to bed. Nine, uh, um, excuse me, I wish. Uh, 3.30 is when I get up, mm-hmm. Monday through Friday, and uh, I go to bed at like 7-ish. Mm. So during the week, I'm not really doing, I mean, I do explore a little during the day, mm-hmm. but the weekend, it's like, I have a limited time here. I'm not doing happy hours, you know, during the week personally because right. I'm going to bed. Mm-hmm. So I try to maximize that. And I, I put a lot of the stuff on my Instagram because it's exciting and for me, it's never, uh, look at what I'm doing. I mean, maybe, 
you know, if I got to ride a Bentley or something, I'd probably do that. <laughs> There'd be a little bit of flex going on, you know, f- or flying like a you know private jet or something. Um, no, it's it's not about ooh look at me. It's about ooh look at this. Yeah, look at us. Look at us. Phoenix. Like, Phoenix. Is, yeah, exactly. Our like, valley. Look at all this. So I want these people to know where these things mm-hmm. are, yeah. whether it's something that costs like a buck or if it costs you know two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, so super super exciting. Have there been uh, spots that you've tried this year? Uh, new that you loved. I mean, how can I miss on the Global Ambassador? Oh, I, mean, I haven't been yet. I have been a longtime fan of, of Sam Fox, being someone who grew up here in the Valley. As you know, he came to the Valley and made his impact. During uh, my 14 years away, I would always request to go to a Sam Fox restaurant oh, when, when I returned home. home. Yeah, right, yeah, because right. I knew he he had the Midas touch. I always said, that guy, whatever he touches turns to gold. Mm-hmm. And then now he's got some famous friends, and he's got what, Dirks involved, yeah. and Fitz, and D-Book, and a huge hotel. Mm-hmm. And, and it was, um, you know, I lived nearby. Mm-hmm. I reported on that street corner when people were mad about it going up so high. Oh, and yeah, So I felt very yeah. vested in this property. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> see what I stood on the street corner at 3.30 yeah, in the morning. It dark. was cold. People were honking. <laughs> It wasn't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant and the the hotel is beautiful. It's magnificent. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm surprised you haven't been yet. So I know. we'll have to I go was visit. Out of town. They had a preview night. Yeah. I was out of town, but I'm I'm going to get there. Yeah. I heard over the weekend, and I didn't I didn't realize. So they have a, you know, a centra, essentially a club. It's like a country oh, club. Oh yes. And it's like seventy five thousand or something. It's a year. something that is far beyond. It, it's oh. like a salary. I mean, if you want more. Uh, you know, ooh, look at me type of stuff. Yeah. It's like 75000 you know, to 100000 a year. That's your baseline Yeah, that membership. gets you in the door. That gets you in the door, your name on the list. Mm-hmm. And then I think it's, I don't know, 1000 or something a month. And that's just to have access to the club, club or the room. That's access to a facility mm-hmm. or a space. In the gym. I think you can go and to the okay, gym. okay, gym oh, stuff too. Found. Okay, so it's not. Kind of tried though. <laughs> But, I think you're paying for like the access food. to the people. Yeah, those like, people in there, you have yeah, access yeah. to those other people, and, and that say, could be a lot of networking. And, and, oh, yeah. Um, or let's say you had big dollar clients. You say, yeah. oh, Come I'm, with me. Here, here's this mm-hmm. club. I would probably tell them what it cost. So how do we get in there? <laughs> That's a good how question. How do I think we, we, we get in there? The, Air, the Arizona Insider. <laughs> know, that well, is your challenge. I'm thinking real lazy today. I dress up like I work there. <laughs> 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 At a cart, <laughs> <laughs> start busting tables. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> I think I remember how it goes. So, have you snuck into a place before? A high end joint? Oh joy? God, yes. Anyone's you want to <laughs> let us know about? Um, my friend, well, this is. I think the statute of limitations has passed on this. <laughs> but when I was a teenager, um, my friend Joey and I. Once my uh, there, there was a Hilton or on Country Club and the US 60. I, I think it's a double tree now. I know what it is. But my uncle stayed there once, and uh, we went to the hotel to visit him. And he said, oh, let's go up to the, the seventh floor. You know, they got like the, the admiral's floor or whatever. Yeah. And you, you have to have a specific key card to get in. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And uh, beautiful building, and it looks to the west uh, to see the sunset. Mm. And they had all these little free foods, the munchies and little finger foods and uh, uh, vegetables and ranch and then there was a bar and whatnot i was like wow this is awesome like i, I gotta come back yeah. here for lunch somehow how do i do this how do i do that uh and so my friend joey and i we were in the area and i was like hey we should go pop into this hilton <laughs> I, my uncle you know was here the other month and there's like this room where they do these appetizers oh, like we should gosh. see if we can get in yeah and uh, we got in the elevator. You know, we parked our bikes. That's how long ago this <laughs> We locked up Ooh, our bikes. Yes, bike. yes, properly, properly. <laughs> yes. It's a regular bike. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, we put our horses up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Well, went to the hotel, went to push the seventh floor, sixth floor, whatever. It wasn't working. Oh. It's like, oh, you, you need, need a key. key. I was like, oh my gosh, what did we do? Ah. Take the elevator to the fifth floor, then take the stairs to the sixth floor. Yeah. That worked, but then the door itself oh. was locked, and you needed a key. Okay. So we had to wait. We waited until someone left. In the stairwell. Uh, <laughs> so you're waiting in the stairwell. <laughs> Not shady at all. <laughs> a couple of teenagers in the stairwell. So you're hanging out in the stairwell. That ain't Mesa. good. <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. So we we made our way out of the stairwell, 
and to get into the little admiral's room, <laughs> okay. you, there was another level, another okay, yes. uh, check that we had to get through. Like, well, we don't have a key. There's nothing, you know, we didn't have a, yeah. a crowbar to open or anything like that. Someone walked out. I'm like, oh, catch the door. Yep. Ca- caught the door when had our little uh, snacks, uh, snacks Accoutements. and whatever. <laughs> Accoutements. Um, ca- Capanez, I think they were called. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. You know, <laughs> da, 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 da. And we're kind of sitting back and watching the sunset and all oh. this. And then I w- screwed up. I asked too many questions. I walked over to the bar and um, I was going to get a soda. I was going okay. like, to try to get any alcohol. But I said, oh, how much are drinks? Oh. Yeah. If I really belonged there, I would have known. Tagged. Yeah, exactly. Drag him out. And the guy's like, huh? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I did it. We're screwed. <laughs> and they said, oh, what room are you in? Oh, not the room. He's asking for the room. <laughs> so I think I gave him, um, you know, a phony room or something, mm-hmm. and then we got the heck out of there. Went so running. We went running. Sped off on the bikes. I was a teenager. I don't do that anymore, and I'm no. not encouraging folks to do no, that. No, no, no. It was an interesting Your hoodlum days. <laughs> My hoodlum days. I'm, I'm glad you turned <laughs> everything around. <laughs> a juvenile delinquent <laughs> hanging out in Mesa stairwells, but... Uh, <laughs> So it, so so bring us back to restaurants. restaurants We've got yeah. restaurants opening in 2024. <laughs> right. um, some great ones. Uh, a big one that is on a lot of folks' lists. Um, and I, was, I uh, went there. It was delicious. Uh, Santo. Oh. So it's like the Bacanora guys. Yes. Um, and I, I'm forgetting some. Espiritu and Mesa, mm-hmm. they were involved with that. They're opening this place. It's kind of fine casual, which sounds a little oxymoronic. Sounds very Phoenix, very doesn't Phoenix. it? <laughs> uh, really, really good. Yeah. Uh, really good stuff. A lot of grilled stuff. Kind of share plates. I mean, okay. you can get them for mm-hmm. yourself, but very, very tasty stuff. Nothing was bad on the menu. It's a little, you know, Higher. upper tier, mm-hmm. so uh, Beware. probably not going to make my happy hour list, but yes. <laughs> we look for, you know, mm-hmm. rock bottom deals, but it was delicious food. That's awesome. Uh, Chef Joey's Place. Oh. Uh, El Mateso. Oh. Uh, I, or El Maceto, yes. excuse me. El Maceto, which is basically the new Tommaso. This is the homage to dad. The homage to dad. Uh, his father passed away a couple few years yeah. ago. Um, 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 um that restaurant space closed. Yes, Tommaso's closed. So he moved that space, and that's yeah. And it's going to be, like, I think, across the street yeah. from there. Uh, that's opening up. Um, da, 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 da. How is Chef Joey cranking out all these restaurants? Oh he gosh. just opened. It's like a machine. Ro- Rosticheria, yeah, he Rosticheria. likes to say. And uh, I went with my mom and dad. Oh, good. Not good. To, it was delicious. Like it? Yeah, it's very, fun. very good, yes. Uh, they're, they're, like, kitschy in a fun way. Yeah. You know, they're... Uh, they have like necklaces and stuff mm-hmm. you can do, and then there they have a gelato bar. Yes, which is like a milkshake bar with all sorts of delicious confectionery. This is your world. Yeah, yeah. Create your own <laughs> concoction. Yeah. Yes, and the Mexicano is still hot. Mexicano is great. Yeah. Um, what else did I have? Oh, carry on. This is going to be a cool one. Oh. Or carry on. Not carry on. This is our PJ experience, you know, yeah. for those who can't fly private. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. I can go buy a cocktail. <laughs> I, can, I can go sit in a fake plane. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> go nowhere. Go nowhere. Exactly. Have fun uh, doing it. This will be the Ren and Wolf folks okay. uh, in downtown Phoenix. And this is kind of um, lots of leather mm-hmm. and uh, classic kind of 50s. Oh, cool. Mad Men without the. Overt sexism. Okay. <laughs> you know, Thank you. The best parts of Mad Men. <laughs> let's just say that. Not the sexism. This will be the best okay, parts of Mad Men. Okay. Um, but that kind of look, vibe, and aesthetic. And it's going to be a bar. It's a 90 minute experience. Mm. And you're in what looks like a plane. A, a plane. Yeah. Like a, a plane. It's like a lounge that's a plane. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's really, really cool. It looks like it's going to be neat. It's small. So I think that's why they do the. 90 kind minutes timed, and you're out. Yeah, kind of timed deals, which is great because I've done these um, in, like, other big cities. Mm-hmm. Like, D.C. had a place like this. Um, and that's neat to see folks kind of come in here right. talking about that. Uh, that's going to be cool. Uh, da, da, da. Ambrosio 15, I keep hearing about oh. this. Um, it's going to be opening up, I think, in the Biltmore. I think it's a San Diego chi- chain. Mm, okay. It's Milanese food, which is Milan food. Oh, fancy. <laughs> uh, so that'll be cool. Chandler Food Hall. Oh, This is going to be in downtown Chandler. Uh-huh. And it's going to be like 12 restaurants. Or Churchill spot. type. Where yes, Churchill kind of has downtown, multiple. Exactly. Uh, um, almost like a co-op. Mm-hmm. Or, and they have these in uh, big cities. I was mm-hmm. in New York City recently and in 
the uh, uh, Hudson Yards area, mm. uh, Chef Andre's kind of, oh, yes. uh, we went to his spot in one of these. Mm -hmm. That one was a whole Spanish theme one, but there was like, uh, like Mexico City has these types of things. Um, Spain has them and it's just a concentrated area. Mm. Now, I don't know if they're gonna be like, like one's just a small dessert place or they're all restaurants or, you know, I don't know exact make makeup, but that is happening okay. this year. Watch for that. AZ Wilderness. I love those guys downtown. Mm -hmm. Great food, great group. They're going to open a spot um, on the Miracle Mile, McDowell and 14th Street. Ooh. So they're going to have a new location. Pedal House is going to Mesa. Great spot. Love their food. Uh, I featured them on Happy Hour. They got a great happy hour. The Henry. Oh, is opening up around the corner around the corner this is going to be dangerous <laughs> yes for many of us here at arizona's family watch for us at the henry for being so close that uh -huh. is going to be on camelback and central where the applebee's is uptown uptown, uptown plaza uptown plaza yes. so uptown yes. plaza we know both of us growing up here have long uh, watched uptown plaza just kind of uh morph over the years <laughs> it had a facelift not too long ago has a lot of great spaces in there oh, yeah. and yet that applebee's stood strong and oh, still my God. Yeah, it reminds me of the Applebee's on Mill and University. Uh, yes. I mean, that one was like, oh, man. I'm not dying. Uh -oh. And you're going to have to build an Omni on top of me if you want to get rid of me. And they did. And they did. <laughs> but that one helped out. But Sam Fox came <laughs> Sam in and said, you will be my new office that, at the Henry. That Applebee's on uh, Mill and University yeah. used to accept sun dollars. Oh, really? So I would go in there. Yes, I'm sure. You could did you buy, buy a chicken. beer? Uh, Did you get a beer in your I sun, beer dollars? sun dollars? I don't know if that was legal or not, but it's very possible. Um, so, yeah, that Applebee's, which was hanging yeah. on, yeah. Um, that Henry will be there. Uh, Thundercat Lounge, Ooh. which will be Thunderbird Lounge, mm -hmm. uh, which they have a little brewery in Melrose, or not a brewery, a, a bar yeah. uh, with a cool patio. They're going to be opening like a club like space. Okay. They're really into vintage. Yeah. Uh, Hence, maybe the Thundercat is going to be... You I know. like the name. Yeah, cool name. And they have a great space, outdoor space, indoor mm -hmm. space. Um, who else did I have? Da, 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 da. This Those is a lot some, to do. I know. Um, oh, um, I think for the next month or so, uh, Barbie, everything Barbie. Yes. She's still the rage, and we're surrounded by pink here. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, at the Phoenix Art Museum. So it yes. talks about like Barbie over the years and some really historic... Uh, pieces mm -hmm. um, of that iconic uh, doll, yeah. uh, much more than a doll. And on the west side, you know, I, I kind of darting around, mm -hmm. um, Vi Resorts. Oh, my gosh. Now, we will see. It has been delayed, mm -hmm. um, but that is supposed to open. If you're in the West Valley, you know what we're Oof. talking about. Um, big, uh, bold. There really isn't anything like it in the state um, it, or in the nation. The I mean, nation. they're really trying to create a destination where you stay there, you watch your concert there. Yeah. Luxury hotel, yes. um, this massive pool, and then this stage. Uh, and I interviewed like the entertainment guy who used to work in Vegas, I don't mm. know for MGM or what, mm -hmm. but that's his world. And he told me, I mean, all the stuff they're doing, these screens and these speakers, and uh, it's going to be a huge benefit for artists because they can plug in and it's quality stuff. They don't need to be loading all their own stuff because they're worried about a crummy system. Mm -hmm. uh, pools, luxury, you name it. Um, it's not going to be cheap from what I no. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> How much money well, you get the concert here. I'm going to try to stand up for them. You get the concert, no, you get no, the stay. True. It's transportation because you don't have to like go from the concert to dinner. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's all in one spot. Yes, <laughs> it is. Uh, um, was delayed a little bit, yeah. uh, maybe a year or so. So we'll see. It is yeah. supposed to open in 2024. Mm. Um, so that'll be uh, cool to see. Yeah. And from everything I've seen, and I was able to walk around in the rooms and uh, down by where this pool, it, it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, And it's right over there by Cardinal Stadium. Yeah, exactly. So if you've been to a football game of recent, you've seen that big hole in the ground <laughs> yes. where they're digging out of that pool. <laughs> and they're trying, like, they want to get some big names. I was talking to that entertainment guy. I'm spacing his name right now. I was like, who, you know, they're like, hey, we want to get. Yeah, you know, Posty. Uh, Posty. <laughs> yeah. Posty would bring, play bring this Posty pace. back. Yeah. I mean, play at a golf course. I know. <laughs> why not play Vi? Yeah, an island. <laughs> why not play on an island? So, so those, oh those are some of the big things, Jamie. That I'm is wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm so glad like you did that. research for me. Thank well, you yeah, so much. You, you can't be calling me the insider, and I don't have any uh, <laughs> uh, good things for you. But I think I'm, I'm really most excited about the final four. Yeah. Um, a free concert like is huge. Um, it's spotlights us, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I can't wait to see what names are going to be there. Yeah. I mean, Aerosmith, 
That's a biggie. That was a big deal (laughs) back in 2017, which doesn't that feel like it was 15 years years ago? ago. (laughs) Feels like decades ago. It does. (laughs) Well, Ian Schwartz, the Arizona Insider. (laughs) Let's see if I can get this to play one more time. (laughs) Thank you for coming on our podcast. We'll be following you on the gram and on your your, uh, excursions and adventures. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be here, Jamie. (laughs) Thank you. Thanks for listening to Jamie's Local Love, the podcast. I'm your host, Jamie Serretta. Our technician is Tom Heidinger. Our editors are Lorraine Shearing and Gina Coy. Do you know a business worthy of some local love? Email me at jserretta at azfamily.com. Follow us at facebook.com slash serretta and Instagram at serretta news. Make sure to subscribe and give us a five-star review, please. And tell your friends about the podcast and the businesses we feature to show your local love. You can find us on Apple, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, and anywhere you get your podcasts. Jamie's Local Love, an Arizona's Family Originals podcast.